Today we are talking about those magical devices on your car that lets you see what's going on behind and around your vehicle. Today we're talking about rear view mirrors. After watching the video today, you'll be able to teach other drivers how to adjust their mirrors to really get the best view of what's going on behind them while also minimizing the troublesome blind spots next to our car. Greetings, driving peoples of the world. Micah here again. Welcome to part one of our rear view mirror series, where we're gonna show you how to adjust your mirrors. Check out part two next though, to learn how to safely use your mirrors while driving. Before we jump in, we always need to do two things. One, throw your seatbelt on, of course. Second, adjust your seat before your mirrors, because every time that your seat uh, changes, it will change the viewing angles of your mirrors. So get comfortable before messing with the mirrors. Now we could do a whole video just on seat adjustment. Comment below if you'd like to see that. But in general, you wanna be seated about at least 10 to 13 inches from the steering wheel, comfortably of course, with a slight bend in your arms and legs. Your feet should be able to reach the pedals comfortably and the headrest should reach at least the top of your ears, but your head shouldn't be leaning back on the headrest. It should look about like this. Now that we've settled in, let's start adjusting our mirrors and let's start with our center mirror. Now grab the mirror. You don't have to be too gentle. It's meant to be able to be moved quite liberally. The, the big thing we want to remember is just not to kind of touch the glass or reflective plastic with our fingers or skin as it tends to leave like oil and grease smudges. Now our goal when adjusting our rear view mirror is that we can see the entire rear windshield. So if you adjust it perfectly, you can see the entire rear windshield and you'll be able to see it from left to right, top to bottom. It will look like this. Now that we've adjusted our center mirror, let's move on to our side mirrors and let's start with the driver's side mirror first. Before we do though, make sure that when you're adjusting your mirrors, you're not like leaning too far forward or leaning too far back, but that you're sitting in your natural driving position. Because if you adjust your mirrors while you're leaning a certain way, then when you start driving, everything's gonna look completely different. So start adjusting your mirrors in your natural driving position. Now to adjust the driver's side mirror or the left mirror, you wanna look for the automatic mirror adjustment controls, which will kind of look like this. Now to adjust this left or driver's side mirror, you wanna make sure that the switch is on the L for the left mirror. Now here's where things start to get interesting. Now before I show you the right way to adjust your side mirrors, let me show you the wrong way to do it first. A lot of new drivers tend to position their mirrors way too far inward, focusing too much on their own vehicle. But this is wrong because it underutilizes the potential of our mirrors and it creates a bigger blind spot for us. So what we want our mirrors to show is potential hazards and traffic behind and next to us. So we only wanna see a little bit of our car. Likewise, some drivers tend to angle their mirrors, seeing way too much of the sky or the ground. But once again, if it's angled wrong, it means we get to see less traffic or potential hazards behind and next to us. Now that you've seen the wrong way to do it, let me show you the right way to adjust our side mirrors. Now, keep in mind that we've already adjusted our center mirror to see as much as possible directly behind us. That means that we wanna use our side mirrors to see things that we can't see in our center mirror, sort of creating a panoramic view of the situation behind and next to us. We do this by using what I call the rear door handle trick. My goal is to get the rear door handle of my vehicle barely visible in the bottom corner of my side mirror, the bottom corner of the mirror closest to the car, like this. That's perfect because it shows me a little sliver of my car, which is good for reference, but most importantly, now my mirrors show me a nice clear view of traffic behind me and a bit to the left of me. If your vehicle doesn't have a rear door handle to use as reference, no big deal. The idea is the same. You want to position the mirror so you can see just a touch of the back of your vehicle. Together with my center rear view mirror, now I have a more complete view of the world behind me. Again, we don't want to see a huge piece of our car in the side mirror, but seeing a little bit is helpful when backing up and also provides a nice reference point when changing lanes. With the left mirror adjusted properly, now we want to adjust the right mirror. The technique is pretty much the same. First, we switch the mirror control to R, or right, and then use the joystick to position the mirror appropriately. Again, in the bottom corner, closest to the car, we wanna see just a little bit of our car if possible. 
try to position your rear door handle in that bottom left corner just like this. Now we have all three of our mirrors adjusted correctly and have a nice panoramic view of the traffic behind us. As you can see, as we move our eyes from mirror to mirror to mirror, we can see almost everything behind us as well as to the left and right of us. Now, even though we've done an excellent job of adjusting and positioning our mirrors, there's still some areas that our mirrors can't fully see. These are the infamous blind spots. Now, remember to check your blind spot. It's only a quick turn of the head from chin to shoulder. So checking your blind spot to the left would look like this, chin to shoulder to the left. Checking your blind spot to the right would look like chin to shoulder to the right. It's that simple. Now, for further reference, practice, and examples, check out our blind spot video that we made a while back. It's really good, got some nice examples, very thorough. Definitely check it out. A little side note here, and I don't want to confuse you, but I do want to point out that some defensive driving gurus will insist that you don't see any part of your car in your side mirror. Their argument is that by pushing your mirrors further away from your car, you're decreasing the amount of blind spots that you have on your car. It makes your blind spot smaller. This is true, and it's definitely something to consider as an advanced defensive driving technique. However, we have found that after years of training thousands of people, that being able to see a little bit of your car in the side mirror is actually really helpful, especially for new drivers, because it helps orient you visually and provides a nice visual reference point for determining spacing and distances from objects and other vehicles. All right, everybody, you now know how to position your mirrors. The next step is to learn how to actually use your mirrors while driving. And we'll show you that in part two of our rear view mirror series, where we'll teach you everything you need to know about how and when to use your mirrors. You can click on that link here for that video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.